Welcome back to the Hustler Kitchen. Today we are making Cajun boiled peanuts in the Instant Pot. That's gonna be our hustle for today. Recently, my family and I were down um, a couple hours outside of New Orleans is an awesome beach town called Pensacola, and they had this amazing boiled peanut appetizer on the menu, and so we got it and we ate so much until we were completely swollen with sodium, it was delicious. So I thought, okay, I'm gonna make this for my family. And thanks to the awesome people down there, I got a really good sort of hack is to do them in the Instant Pot. And since I love a hustle, I wanna show you how I make it. We've got all kinds of seasoning here, but it starts with a third of a cup of coarse salt. And one thing that I found, this is like my third or fourth time making them, is I'll add hot water from my kettle into this Pyrex right here because I wanna go ahead and start with all my seasoning completely dissolved. I've got, so that was a third of a cup of salt. And then right here I have two tablespoons of a Cajun spice blend. And if you use a Cajun spice blend that has salt in it, <coughs> I just got a cayenne, <laughs> some cayenne steam in my face. But if you use a salt, uh, Cajun spice blend that has salt in it, then you may wanna taste the water. That's why I like doing it this way. You can actually put your finger in it and taste it and see how spicy it is. So this is two teaspoons of cayenne. We like a lot of cayenne pepper in this house, so you'll wanna adjust that. If you don't have cayenne, you can use red pepper flakes. And then I use a teaspoon and a half, or two teaspoons of shrimp and crab boil. And you know, we call it crawfish, crab, and shrimp boil, but basically something like this. You could use Old Bay, doesn't matter. Um, we'll put a few garlic cloves in there that I've smashed. And then the super hack is the juice of a lemon. So we'll get this all stirred up in here. Now this is about a pound and a half. <laughs> I just got another like cayenne steam right to the throat. This is a pound and a half of raw peanuts that have been washed really good. And then if you see any of these little um, strings, you'll go ahead and just like pull those off and wash them. Put them in here. Raw peanuts have a really distinct smell. So I sort of like the whole Cajun, Cajun smoke in my face. And then I'll also take a lemon and make it, like slice it. You can even zest it and put it in here. This goes for 90 minutes. Now, if you, if after 90 minutes and a quick release, you find that you still have a few peanuts in there that maybe are a little bit um, al dente, like they're not as soft as you, you wish they were, just go ahead and put the lid back on your Instant Pot and you can finish them as a slow cooker for another 15, 20 minutes or however long it takes. Just pour that right in. Whoa. And you basically just want like enough to enough water to cover the peanuts. So this is about, like I said, a pound and a half. That's about all the Instant Pot can take unless you have one of the large ones. So get those in there. And then we are gonna put our lid on and set it to manual. Make sure it's sealed and set it to manual for 90 minutes. Then you'll do a quick release. Take one out as soon as it's safe. See if it's the consistency that you like. If it's still a little tough and you wanna go longer, put the Instant Pot lid back on. You can pressure cook it for another 10 or 15 minutes or you can slow cook it for 30. Okay, so it's been about 90 minutes and whenever I use my quick release, I like to have a uh, pot holder. Okay, so we're gonna go over here and we're gonna send it to the venting and let it go. Ah! Well, peanuts. <laughs> 
It's like a, it's like a peanut aroma. Uh, <laughs> So we are gonna take this off after we've let it release. Set this down over here, it's very hot, so you wanna be super careful. And the water's still kind of boiling a bit, so you could actually sit here and let the steam just sort of go out. But for the sake of showing you, Super hot. I really like the addition of the lemon. It makes it taste like a true seafood boil and the lemon keeps it kind of light and fresh, but still got a really nice kick to it. Super spicy. Um, try this out and let me know how it turns out. Until next time, keep hustling.